and dust. Hi. And it said, ようやく別の仕事を生えて現れたベネットが粘りに命令されて下の部屋 から魔術の道具が詰まった箱を行く相撲運んできた。Hi, so you read one of these wrong, which was to finish. What is to finish work in Japanese? finish ha, ha. Ha it, it's not ha what is like to be done or to finish in japanese it's another word like this is the end ori, or something oh uh, hi oh what it what it is what you're thinking about now oh what it let's see i gotta go click this to turn on my kanji oh what do if you look, Owaru and that kanji right there share the first kanji. So how do you think you read that word? Owaru. Owaru. Um, sorry, Mani, we, we say that this is how to read Owaru, but, but this other one is A. Yes, so he, oeru. Hiete. If it's the first one is o, oeru. And the next one is o, oeru. Because the kanji, because the reading of that kanji character is o. There's a couple of kanji that do have irregular readings, such as ikeru, um, i, ikiru, which is to live, and haeru, which means to grow. I think that's what was confusing you. You were remembering that hai was the irregular reading of a certain kanji, which was ikeru, but does have an e, eru. Um, but this is just owaru, uh -huh. oeru. And they have the same meaning. So uh -huh. haeru and ikiru have totally different meanings. Ikiru means to live, and haeru means to grow, versus oeru means to end, and owaru means to end. The only difference is that oeru takes o, so owaru takes ga. So it's an intransitive transitive pair. So they would be read the same. It's kind of like, you know, um, sagaru and oriru. These have different meanings, right? One of them means to go down. The other one means to step back. back. But when things are intransitive transitive pairs, they're normally the kanji has the same meaning. Hi. Um, so that reading of the kanji is oete. Um we say yoyaku was um yoyaku the other the other work uh finish Yo, yo, ya, yo, yake. Yo, yake was, is like um, in the end or finally. I, it's so hard to remember. Keep okay. getting it wrong. Okay. A yo, yake in the end. In the end, the other work uh, that was finished, um, the bonnet uh, appears. And who finished the work, the other work? Nobody. Benetto. Hi, hi, hi. So Benet finally finished his work and appeared. And what else did he do? He appears 
and he uh, he was made to um, to order. He 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 follows he was ordered order. High. He was ordered by who? He was ordered. He was ordered by not nobody. Nobody. Um, he brought. He carried up a number of boxes that was packed with magical tools from the room below. Perfect. ここに置いてくれと粘りここに置いてくれ I'll put, put them here、uh, say never り、はい、バネットバネットは箱を床に置いて残りを取りに戻る取りに戻るはい、あ、uh,、he バネット place the box on the floor and he, he returned to take the rest the remainder right where do you think he returned、um, to as a context question the return here is、um, Uh, so, so. He, he returned to the rooms below. I was in the house of the house of the house of the house of the Mm. I I I I I went I to peak. I went to have a peak of the content of the of the box. I. Nakami. Um, Nebari wa hako no futa o tsugi tsugi to ake. Um, tsugi tsugi, one by one. He ake, he open. He open the lid. Of the box one by one. Nobody opened the lid of the box one by one. Um, sore, sore. No. Hako kara ue no ho no dog dake o tori dashi. Uh, he take out. Uh, he take out just the tools on the top section of each of the box. Sore zore no ha from each of the box. Ore ni watashita. He passed it to me. Hi. 
And as reading this, it sounds a little better to say watashita um, than watashita. Uh, when you see the she so aggressively like that, it made me think you were saying the word I rather than the verb watase. Watashita. Watashita. Hi. Watashita. Um, ore wa soetsu o doa no soba ni yama tsumi. I'm sorry. Yama zumi ni shita. So itu o doani. I put I um I I made them into a pile. I stacked them at the side of the door. Dora no tsoba ni. Perfect. Um, Yama tsumi ni shita hai. Sono ato nebari wa sho. I'm sorry, no. Uh, sai, sai sho ni futa o. Aketa Hako Kara Gen Gami Ni Susumareta Dogu O Hitotsu Toridashi Nebari Text out Toridasi one tools that was Tsumare that that was wrapped in paper silver paper gen gami. Or gen kami. Yep, gin kami. Gi. Gin, gin. Gin kami. Um, that was wrapped in paper, in a aluminum or silver paper uh, from the box that was open. Oh, I'm sorry. The box that had the lid open the first box that had the lid open. Right. Perfect. Uh, okay, so now we can start uh, back here. So our first word is going to mean ball. What is ball in Japanese? It's a tama. Right, tama. So how do you read this kanji? It looks like king. Hi, Tama. Hi. Yep. Is all with the extra we'll dot. Right the kind ten. of like the same thought from Futoi, I think. Kind of. Oh, Hi. A round fat ball is the king. Oh. Um. Hi, ball. Uh, that makes sense. Do you know what a kobushi is? Aka. Kobushi no kurai no. Akabo no akambo akan aka akambo no koboshi a fist. Hi. Can you read this word for me? A fist. Garazu tama. Garazu tama. Tama. So in this case, we actually do have rendaku here. So it becomes garasu dama. Garasu dama. Right. It is a glass ball. So let's go read the line from the book. De te hita no wa. K 
拳くらいの大きさのグラス玉だった。Hi, can you read this character for me one more time? ガラス玉。はい。出てきたの。The one that was the one that was brought out the one that was outside. Hi, the one that came out of the box that came out of the wrapping. The one that came out. Hi, it was um. Was from the dasu, tori dasu. Now it's dete kita.、Uh, the one that came out, kobushi kurai no kobushi kurai. Roughly a fist. Okisa no Karasuda Madata. The one that was brought out was a glass ball of roughly the size of a fist. Good eye, roughly. Yep. Perfect. And how do you read this word for a mound? Yama zu mi. Perfect. And how about that silver paper, that aluminum foil or silver colored paper? Gin ga mi. Perfect. And do you know what kirame、um, ku means? Kirame, ku, kirame kaseru. That's a、um, causative form. Kirame kasete. Kasete. Kirame. Me o kirame. A, 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 a glow? A glow in. in... Kind of. It does kind of have to do with glowing.、Um, it basically means to make something like I would go more toward the twinkling side of things than to glow,、um, personally, because otherwise, if you want to do glow, you would use something else. So it's more like a sparkle or to glitter type of thing. You know, like the ocean, for example, if it's very sunny out, the ocean's not glowing, right? It's not glowing like a jellyfish. It's, it's sparkling in the sunlight, right? It's going kira kira, which is the sound effect of sparkle,、um, which comes from the verb, kira meku, probably.、Oh, to sparkle, to glitter.、Um, so, what is the past tense form of to glitter? Kira me, kira meku, kira me, kira me ta. Kirameta. Perfect. And do you know what this word is and what, is, what it means and how to read it? Iro gen 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 iro gen. That's a really good guess. This is that. So, gen is a really good guess because gen means silver. And this is similar to the word silver as this means gray, but it's pronounced as hai, this kanji. So, can you write、hai. gray for me again? Hai iro. Perfect. Can you read this example sentence for me? Hai iro no tama wa kirame ta. The gray ball glittered. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Nichi iro. Perfect. 
Niji Iro is rainbow colored. So the color of rainbow. Niji Iro. Ended with Iro. What did it start with? Nichi. Hi. Nichi Iro. Perfect. Do you remember how to say um, oil painting in Japanese? Arabe. Hi. Abura. Abura. E. And what does abura A mean? Abura. E. Abura is oil. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Nichi iro. Perfect. And what does niji iro mean? Rainbow color. Perfect. Can you read this phrase for me? Nichi iro ni kirameku abura. The oil glitters in the color of rainbow. Perfect. So, kind of like that idea. Of this picture at some like oil on the ground that's making rainbow glitteries. Um, this was a word you struggled with last time you saw it. You know what higasasu means? Higasasu. Higa, higa. Higasasu, light that that um light that that flow through light that yeah it is it is a light that, that goes kind through of, something it normally will make some kind uh, of line of light when it goes through things because it's going through like the trees or through your window or something like that it's that ray of light tends to be how we use that in English rather than saying a or a beam of light it's it's basically the light is going through something such as a window is most common in this specific context in the past it was going through um Binet basically who is pushed aside um a bush or nobody pushed aside the bush and it, the light was coming into the tunnel through the top of the tunnel hole so that's what he got sasu means. Hi. Hi. Well, Nate, does that sasu had a kanji? The yes, for it sa does. He got sasu has this kanji. So sasu is the kanji from to what is that kanji? It looks so familiar, but I yeah, you know, you be sasu. Ubi sasu. Ubi sasu. Ubi sasu means to the point. point. Yep. So that sasu is the same sasu from ubi sasu to point. So the sun is pointing. It is making a. It's stabbing into something basically because sasu, you know, as a word, means to point. And most likely, all the sasus are. Um, the same word and it's just different kanji to insinuate different meanings just because they're so similar to each other with pointing pointing and stabbing um they're kind of like the three wakatus i would say um i think officially in the dictionary they are separated but i'm i i would guess they're like the same like the different noble yeah, as well. it. But yeah it is to stab and it's the point with sun Sun points. Light, lights of fingers. Hi. Um, yeah, like a fingers. Like, yes, yep. I, I understand. Um, abiru. This is to take the bath. It's yes. A wash. Um, it can be used for that. It's normally not used. Maybe it's used for the bath. Um, you. I feel like it's more commonly used with a shower, um, than with the bath. But um, abiru is to soak up. So it doesn't have to be with like the bath. It can also be like um, you could sunbathe and that would count as abidu. So the thing you soak up doesn't have to be liquid, even though we do have the water kanji here. So any kind of soaking up works. 
Um, can you read this word for me? Hizashi. Hi, Hizashi. So Hizashi and Higasasu, it's the same word. Um, the difference, you know, is that this is now a noun that means the ray of the sun or the sunlight rather than being a action, right? The sun shines in versus the sunshine, right? This, this is just a noun. Hizashi. Um, what is the past tense Hi. form of this word? The past tense is abi. Abita. Hi, abita. But no glottal stop. No glottal stop. It's abita. Hi. Okay, let's go read this example sentence. Hizashi o abita tama wa Hizashi o abita tama wa nichi iro ni kirame da the ball So the ball that that absorb the the ray of lights, the light specifically rays, from the sun. If it's it, from something else, you wouldn't use hizashi. Like if it's from a flashlight or something, this is very specifically light from the sun. What got it? What got that? The ball that absorb the sunlight. It glitters with the color of rainbow. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Ukabu. Hi, ukabu. ukabu. We've kind of seen this word before in ukabi agare, which was to emerge from, coming from, to float up. But ukabu means to float. To float. Ukabu. So, how do you read this kanji? How do I read this kanji? Ukabu. U Perfect. U Ukabu. Hi. And what is the past tense form of to float? Floated. Uh, the, the past tense is uk. uk, uk, uk. Past tense. Uka i. Ita, uka, ukanda, Think about another word you ukanda, know that. Ends. Yep, Uganda. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? Abura ga mizu ni ukabu the oil float on the water. Perfect. So our next word is a E adjective, which is usui. Usui means um dim, kind of like uh, a different word we saw before, but it's more like dim in a faint or like hard to see. Like it can be used with like a ghost can be usui and that it's like it's blurry and hard to see. Um, so like faint, I guess is a better word than dim. Faint. So something hard to see. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Nebari ga mochi ageru to. Tama wa Usui hai iro no hizashi o abite mizu ni ukabu abura no you ni nichi iro ni hirame ita.
never did he he took hold and he he agged it. He lift up. He grabs it and he lift it up. When 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 he grabs and lift it up, the the ball it absorb um it absorb the sun rays that are that that are faint and gray. It absorbed the gray, faint sun ray, and it its um, glitter in a way that is like a uh, color of the rainbow that is similar to uh, to oil that floats on water. Hi, perfect. Oh, my goodness. Um, so I do not have enough prepared for our lesson today. <laughs> Hi. Uh, what we do, what, what Mani, you I just realized. Day? Yeah. <laughs> I just realized something about the use of knee. Hi. I like to run by with you. So old, uh, rainbow leaves. There's so here we have Nichi Iro Ni. That's one instant of the of the knee, and then the other is Mizu Ni. So Hi. my understanding here is that nichi iro is a is a na adjective whereas mizu is a no uh, no Therefore, that was a good guess though cuz i'm I'm trying to understand how a reader, when they came across the knee, because the sound is the same when you read when you read it out, and you came across the 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 verbalization of the knee, it sounds the same, but it had very different meaning. Hi. So knee in Japanese in marks of... three things. It marches location, adverbs, and times. So water is a location. Rainbow isn't a location. So it does have adjective-like qualifications to it, but it is a noun grammatically. You can't say iro na. Iro um, does have a na if you say iro, iro na, for example. But you can't really say niji iro na mushi. Like that, that's not grammatically correct. You have to say no. Same with hairo. Hai, um, hairo is also a noun in Japanese. But aoi is a ni adjective. So some of the colors are grammatically adjectives, but these two colors are just nouns. So as a way to separate it, you can think about what does this noun mean? If the noun is a location, me attached to it should be marking a location and not adverbifying it because library waterly um things like that since it could be a location it's more likely to be marking a location than to be marking a adverbal meaning to it because if it was adverbal they would probably make it more obvious using yoni like abura you probably wouldn't say abura ni unless you're talking about abura as a location because abura is oil and has that locationness kind of like as a more it's more thing like than the meaning of rainbow. But you, so you so if you want to say in a rainbow, you might have to say nichi. Well, niji iro is just rainbow color. Mm. So you have to think about the meaning of the word rather than whether or not it is a noun or an adverb. In this case, for 
the adverbalification going on here. Similarly, if this was a time word, like it said tokini, right? You have to know that toki right. is time and not a location. But you could argue that it's the same kind of idea. Um, but time is marked right. by ni as well. Um, so that that could be some way to help of just guessing by the meaning of the word. But yeah, all all nouns can get ni added to it to turn into an adverb. Like with naru, to become, right? So with naru, because we know naru means to become, if you say mizu ni naru, we assume this is now adverb ni by context. We can assume that because naru means to become. So by default, it takes that noun rather than as a location word. You wouldn't really use ni to mark a location something happened with the verb naru. So you, you kind of just have to know the context of what the words mean. So kirameku means to glitter, right? And ukabu means to float. So to float in something is an idea that exists, right? So by default, ni with ukabu is probably going to mark the location. Well, kirameku, which means to glitter, you don't really say to glitter in as like a default idea with glitter, so it's more likely to be glittering at. So there's multiple ways you can guess by context, whether or not ni is marking time, a location, or adverb by caching a noun or not adjective. Um, so it's probably both the meaning of the verbs and the meaning of the noun that is attached to those verbs. Right. So I, I understand up to this point that you explained, I guess my, it's not so much a question, but it's, it's a curiosity mm -hmm. in that, you uh -huh. know, in, 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 when, when this sentence is, uh, it's spoken or when it's read in real time, the speed is very quick. There's right. no pause in, in like the cognitive processing of this, of this need. If a person, like, say, if I were to read up to Mizuni, right? When I read up to Mizuni, my brain at that point, the ni is now indeterminate in terms of what it means. Yeah. Like, we don't know exactly, the brain itself doesn't know exactly what ni stand for in, in its grammatical function until yeah. the verbs comes up. Right. So as soon as the verb comes up, if the verb is naru, it had one meaning. If it if it's ukabu, then the ni take on a different grammatical function. So does that mean in the way that Well, it's the same the like with to. Retro... Like let's let's say this to right here. We got nebudiga mochi to. What if we had a mo after this? Suddenly the meaning has completely changed. Which means, I think nobody picked up something, right? I thought those words. Because then that to right here becomes quotation to rather than cause and effect and to. Because both of those things, cause and effect to and quotation to, both of those go after sentences. Hi. Same if it said to itta. I said nobody picked that up. To itta. Exactly, exactly this point, Mani. So it seems to me that perhaps one of the reasons why I, when I listen to a stream of speech, it's incomprehensible to me is because it feels like as an English speaker, you know, we have the the ordering of the of the word is such that we mm -hmm. it's the 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 grammatical function project itself in real time whereas in japanese it sort of retroactively it act it act retroactive in in other words it, it you only know the meaning of to only after you see what had already come up but prior to that when you hit that to the brain somehow had to 